Hello, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to create the Venom effect in a simple steps. So first we need to enable an add-on. So in order to do that, we need to go to this edit preference and search for IVY. So we need to enable this so that we can create this effect here. So just enable this and click on close. So when we press N, you can see it has been added here. So by using this thing, we can create this effect here. So first we'll create an object for which we want to create this Venom effect. So in this case, I'm going to create the Venom effect for the letter. So just I will delete this and create a text. So shift A, text, and I will edit this text, pressing tab and type A. And just I will place it in the proper position. And after placing, just we need to extrude this model. Uh, so just I will go to this tab here, data objects. And here we can go to this option like geometry and we can increase this extrude option. So just I will give the value to like around 0 0.7. So that's fine. And now what the thing is, we need to set this 3D cursor to the position where you want to start the effect. So in this case, I want to start this effect from this corner. So we need to change this 3D cursor to this position here. So in order to do that, we can select this option and just click on this position here. Okay. And now we need to add this effect here. So first we'll select this and go to this tab here and open this like IV white generator. So what the thing is, this will work only for the mesh here. Now this is an text. So we need to convert it to mesh. So right click and there is an option convert to mesh here. So after converting, you will see it will, it has been enabled this option. So simple, uh, we need to click on this thing, like add new IBY. So click on this. So defaultly it has been created the leaves. So we don't want these leaves, either you can select and delete or else just we need to uncheck this option like grow leaves. But before adding this thing, we need to make some changes here. So just I will select and delete. So what the thing is just we need to uh, go to this option. Like you can see this length here. So suppose if I want to spread this, effect to end of this letter here, we can increase this length. So for example, if I give the value to like five or something, and now see if I select this and if I click on this new, so see it has been spreaded towards this entire letter here. And also we can select this and we can delete the leaves here. But still it has been not properly uh, attached to this letter. We'll see some settings. So, so this is a length here. So for timing, I will give the value to like three. And also now you can see there is an option like addition weight. So if you want to attach this venom effect exactly to this letter, so we need to increase this value here. So let's say if I give the value to like one and let, let us see. So select this and click on this thing here. Now see it has been attached property to properly to this letter here. So just we'll disable this leaves and now see it has been properly attached. So by using this weight option, we can like exactly spread this effect towards this model here. So still you can see it has been not attached properly to this letter here. So what we can do is we can select this thing and we can add some modifier. So we can add this shrink wrap modifier and we need to select the target. So select this and click on this thing here. So now see it has been exactly attached to this letter, but we need to apply this so that we can see it properly. So apply this and now you can see it has been properly attached to this letter here. And also if you see some settings, if I select this thing and if I go to this option here, like data, and you can see if you come down, you can see there is an option like start and end mapping. Here by using this end option, we can create this kind of animation, like growing effect. So literally we'll see this. So we can go to this start and end mapping and we can use this thing here. But before that we will adjust it properly. So what the thing is, I want these roots to be like having more width at the starting and it has to change to very thin over the end of this roots here. So in order to do that, first we need to attach this to the curve here. So before that we will create an curve. So by pressing shift A and go to curve and just in this case, I will create this base here. So just I will move it aside. And now what the thing is just uh, we can select this. And if you go to this option here, you can see there is an option like taper object. So what we can do is we can specify the width of these roots from starting to ending. So in this taper object, we need to select this eyedropper and click on this curve. So first it will change the size of this thing. Uh, what we need to do is we need to change the size of this curve here. So in order to do that, just I will go to the edit mode and we need to select the points 
and just you need to scale it. So just scale it. So according to that, it will change this. So still I need to scale. So it depends uh, like what kind of effect you want to create. You have to scale these points and also still you can adjust this properly. So just I will bring it to near this. Mm -hmm. And also you can go to the edit mode and just you can adjust these points. Like we can rotate according to that. You can change this width here. So just we can like rotate so that it will make very thin at the end of this roots here. So see now we got this nice effect and also we will see the resolution. So like we will select this and here you can see there is a mapping. So now we can see this effect. So in this way, we can just change the size of these roots here by using this thing. So I will go to the edit tab and just we need to scale it down. Okay. So if you want to spread it more, you can like before creating, make sure you need to increase the length of this IVY so that you will get more effect here. So for this tutorial, it is fine. And also now if you want to create the effect on the ground, we need to take a plane here. So just uh, if I press shift A, go to mesh and click on this plane and just I will move it over here. And let's say I want to start this effect uh, in this position here. So just I will place this 3D cursor over this point here. And now if you want to start this effect, so select this and click on this, add this thing here. So see now it has been added it properly. And now we need to do the same things. We need to shrink wrap. So select this thing, like we need to select this and we need to uh, add this modifier, shrink wrap, and we need to select this target. So we got this nice effect. And if you want to increase the size still, if you select this thing, and here, if you go to these properties and here you can see there is an option like extrude in case, if you want to increase the size or width of this thing, we can use this extrude for timing. I will give the value to like 0 0.3 or something. So it will change the size. But the thing is first, we need to apply that modifier so that we can see it properly. So apply this. So now we got this nice effect over here and simple, like uh, we can use this extrude option. So like, if you want, you can increase or if you want, you can decrease this thing here and you can use this offset. Suppose if you want to change the positions of this venom, so we can use this thing here. Okay. And it's simple. Like if you want to give the material, you can select this thing and we can go to this material. So select this and click on this new and let it be like an principal BSDF. So I will give this nice black color effect. And also I will like decrease the roughness and a little bit of specular. And if you go to this render view, now you can see we got this nice material over here. So just I will like scene world and also just I will increase this world opacity. Now you can see it properly. So see we got this and still if you want to add the smoothness for this thing, so you can add a modifier. So select this thing and we can go to modifier add this smooth here so smooth and you can increase the number of steps so like by pressing like 10 or something so now see it has been created more smooth thing smooth effect and also for this we same effect we need to apply the same material so select this here i will apply this material here so select this okay so we got this nice effect over here and now what the thing is just we need to match the animation so if you want to give the like uh, growing kind of animation so just simple we can select this thing and go to this data and here we can give the animation for this uh, end effect so just we can drag so that it will start and later it will end so in this case let's say in starting i want it to be like zero so just i will right click insert frame and after few things few frames so just I will give the value to like one. So right click inside. So we got this nice effect over here. And also according to that, we need to match this animation. So whenever it overlaps this letter, according to that, it has to start the animation over here. So like same, we need to give the animation. So until here, it has to be like zero. And literally we need to turn on this animation insert. And after some frames, let it be like a one. 
so it depends on your situation it's for tutorial purpose i'm just ex explaining the basic animation here so just we need to insert the key sorry so one and just right click insert key frame. so now you can see this effect so just i will go to this normal view and like click on this play So see, we got this nice effect over here and also fill caps. So what is this thing is like, see, whenever it is growing, you can see there is an like open caps over here. So just, we need to enable this so that it will fill all the gaps here. So select this thing and also fill all gaps here. So if you want to create another effect for this thing from this point, we need to change the cursor point to this point here, this position. And now we need to select this letter again. So select this thing and we need to click on this new IVY. So now it will add the effect from this position and we need to do the same thing. We need to go to the modifier and just we need to shrink wrap and select the target. And literally we need to apply this effect. So select this and apply. And we need to add the curve for this thing. And even for this also, if you want to create the like random shape, we need to create another curve for this thing here or else we can apply the same curve which we have created here. So like this is the curve which we have created, the Bezier curve, we will see this thing. So just we will place over here and select this thing and go to this option like taper object, click on this, uh, we need to select the same thing. So we got the same effect over here. So same for this thing. So select this like taper object and we need to select this thing over here and we got the same effect here. So for this, we can give the animation. So like if I go to this thing and if you select this, enable the fill caps and also we can give the animation from this side here. So like, let's say up to here. So now it has been overlapping here. So up to this position and now we will start this thing. So insert and after some frames, just we will give the value to like one and right click insert so it depends the time uh, whatever time you want you can give the animation so so we got this nice effect over here so in this way we can create this venom effect in a simple steps so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video